All right, so <clears throat> I just went ahead and finished um, installing Ortho for XP. Um, and it was a little technical, but I got it done right, I think. So just going to um, start a quick flight in the area that I did it for. And let's see how this turned out. Well, I can tell you there is something uh, very different looking about this scenery. I'm not sure if that's the default still, though. I'm not sure, but it, it, it does look a little different. Okay, yeah, that's definitely some photoreal scenery up ahead right over there. Just the way that hill looks over there. Um, it looks like Mount Miguel, Mount San Miguel. Um, and then, of course, all the, uh, the urban area down there. So that's definitely got to be the uh, ortho tile that I created. So... I'm just going to go ahead and uh, say mission accomplished. Or maybe, okay, I see. Okay. Yeah, I only did like two, a very small area, and um, looks like <laughs> I started right at the, right just outside of it. Because, yeah, that definitely is the border there, of course. Yeah, now we're talking right here. Oh, wow. Man, that looks beautiful. Stunning. That looks like, um, That looks like uh, probably um, MCAS Miramar coming up just up ahead. And that would be uh, Highway Interstate 8 right below us. So that must be uh, Cowles Mountain we're just passing over. Yeah, this this looks amazing. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm loving it. X-Plane 11 just got so much cooler. Um, wow. I, I was literally kind of kind of let down recently because, uh, the, you know, the the default scenery just it wasn't it wasn't it cutting it for me and um, it didn't look like uh, ORBX had much to offer as well unless you fly in Europe but um, I'm, I'm mostly flying in the SoCal or Pacific Northwest area and um, yeah I, I really wanted to find some some good scenery And uh, sure enough, I run across this Ortho XP, and it's free. And um, it, it was a little, a little technical, but um, I went ahead and gave it a shot. Um, there's excellent YouTube videos out there. Uh, it's not really as hard as it seems, um, and uh, it's it's worth it. I can, uh, as you can see, uh, 
and I'm actually getting a, I don't know, um, it seems like I'm maybe even getting a, a better frame rate. I'm not sure though, it still kind of seems the same, but um, I can't tell though if my overlays are working. I mean, I'm seeing pretty much just all photo, photo real scenery. Now, believe me, I'm, I'm perfectly cool with it, though. <laughs> uh, so that's North Island up ahead. Let's see here. I think there's some... I think that's some uh, sim object down there. Okay. So... I know I did everything right. It's just a matter of it all compiling and working in the sim. You never know what could happen, what what can go wrong. Let's try to head lower and see if uh, you see more of the uh, highways overlaid over the scenery. Okay, so I had to make a quick um, adjustment in the uh, settings. Turns out I had the um, visual effects uh, visual effects slider like all the way to low, and also the uh, uh, sim objects slider. Can't remember if that's what you call it, but I had that set to like low. So I was like, "Where are all the buildings and where are all the roads and everything?" And wow, there they are. And uh, it looks like um, my overlays definitely are in the right place. See all the traffic down there. And now this is looking like San Diego. I can tell you that. Just awesome. This is, I'm sitting back, like almost, I got my seat all the way up and it still, still looks like I can barely see over the dash and I don't know why. I should be like right here, but no, it's putting me right here and I can reset the track IR and it's still putting me there. It's kind of annoying. <laughs> so that's why I'm not flying too much from the cockpit. go ahead and switch back to the uh, daytime. So let's see here.
much more realistic. I'm loving it. And that's um, South Bay right down there and Imperial Beach. Even got a little bit of Mexico in there. East Las Coronados, right there to the uh, starboard on the uh, water there. You got Point Loma right there, a North Island. And I still haven't taken uh, any kind of uh, frame rate impact um, <clears throat> after uh, increasing the uh, amount of scenery objects down there, which is pretty pretty cool.
All right, guys, I think I'm going to go ahead and uh, cut it here. I actually think I'm at the boundary of um, <clears throat> where the scenery starts again. So, um, yeah, I'm pretty whooped. I'm pretty excited. And, um, yeah, definitely uh, going to be doing more X-Plane videos. Um, super excited to download uh, more tiles and more areas. Uh, hopefully, eventually... Uh, <laughs> the entire world I don't that'll probably take I don't know a year but uh, with the way this is looking I, don't, I almost want to say that's worth it it's extremely accurate and uh, of course because it's it's a uh, actual uh, arc GIS data that I downloaded I believe I didn't use um, uh, yeah quick note um, didn't use the uh, OSM, did not use Bing or GO2. Those were just not working. Um, they kept uh, getting interrupted. So if you do go ahead and uh, install Ortho 4XP for the first time, I'd recommend using the ARC as your uh, base source because that seemed to work like a charm. And uh, it, it didn't take too long at all either. Just um, I started with just two two tiles, just two squares on the map, so I didn't want it to take forever. I just wanted to see if it actually would work. So uh, I'll leave it at that, and um, yeah, there you have it. Um, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you guys are having a... Well, can't talk tonight. <laughs> Hope you guys have a good weekend. All right, take it easy. Bye.